This is a short video on uh, using the exist clause in SQL. So we're going to be using the Northwind database for this. And uh, the exist clause is a logical operator that evaluates a subquery for whether or not there are records in the subquery. If there are records in the subquery, then exist returns true. And if there aren't, then re exist returns false. Since uh, exist returns a logical value, it's pretty common to use this in the where clause or in a having clause. Uh, and the main things that uh, it can do for you is it can make certain queries faster. And sometimes the phrasing is a little better as an exist clause. So, so here's a really simple example um, where I'm just returning all the product records where exists of the static select 17 uh, evaluates to true. So the idea here is that if I, if I execute this subquery, I get a one row, one column table. And of course, exists um, executing or evaluating this is always going to return true because there's a record in this, right? It has a row. So, um, so what we get is every product in the product table because every product evaluates to true. This exists statement evaluates to true. So that's not a very practical example, but it kind of shows what exists does. So here's a very, very common use of exists, and this is where we start to see some performance gains or potential performance gains where I'm looking for categories that exist over in the products table or another way to say it, categories that have products or categories that match up with a record over in the products table. And the other thing to note about this is that this is a correlated subquery. And we know this is a correlated subquery because this field right here actually doesn't exist inside of the subquery. So categories is not mentioned in the from clause. So which categories, you know, where's this category field coming from? It's actually referencing the outer query. And if I try to execute the subquery by itself, it says that I can't find the, the categories table. So this is a correlated subquery. And this is a very common use for exists, categories that match up. So you might call this a find matching query, categories that match with products, right? Now you might say, well, that's really, you know, why isn't that, can I do that with a, um, with just a join? And yes, you can. So here's a query that gives logically the same records by just doing a join and making sure that the category ID uh, matches between categories and products. But notice also that I had to do a distinct in order to, re to remove the duplicates uh, that are created. So why not always use the join version? Why not do it this way? Well, logically it will do the same thing. But, um, you know, if I look at this, I don't really see anything in the products table that I need. The products table is really just there to, to help me determine which categories to show, right? So category name is from categories, not from products. So let's let's take a kind of an evil uh, case here where I have two categories and 20 billion products. And here's how the exists version goes about figuring out which categories to show. And uh, so it'll go to category one and it'll look through the products until it finds a product with category one. And as soon as it finds one, it can stop. It doesn't need to go through all 20 billion records. So it's maybe it'll go through 10, maybe 15. Or, you know, ideally it finds category one in the first record. Uh, and then it'll go to category two and it'll do the same thing. But the key here is that it doesn't necessarily have to look at all 20 billion records to verify that these categories exist over in the products table. It just needs to find one. So if I do this with the join distinct version, here's what happens. 
the categories table and the products table needs to get joined first. So all 20 billion products are uh, looked at and evaluated to join with the categories table. And then we remove almost all of them uh, to get rid of the, the uh, repeated categories. So you can see that the exist version, depending on the situation, can be uh, extremely more efficient. So, um, so that's the main use of exists is to take uh, a join and convert it into something that's faster. So exists is logically very similar to the in clause. So here's another way to do the same query we've been doing. So categories that are in the products table and there is uh, an equivalent query and there it is uh, as the exists uh, table. So there's the difference there. This is exists with a correlated subquery and this is um, an in clause with a subquery that's not correlated. It can execute all by itself. So this seems simpler and in many cases these will both be executed by the SQL engine in the same way but not in all cases. So um, now the other way that I would use an exist clause is perhaps to do a not exists. So this is commonly called a find unmatched. So find categories that don't have any products in them. And it's phrased fairly elegantly with the just by putting a not statement in front of exists. Now this will give you logically the same uh, the, the correct set of records but it doesn't necessarily give the same performance benefit and and to realize that if you look at this what will have to happen is let's say that we have two categories and one of those categories doesn't have any products in it uh, out of those 20 billion products so the first category that has a product in it uh, when it goes to the first record, it'll find the record. But when it goes to the second record that doesn't have any products in it, it's going to have to look at all 20 billion product records to prove that it doesn't exist in that table. So a not exist uh, is, is tougher than an exist. To prove something doesn't exist, you have to check all of them. So in summary, exists is uh, useful to uh, sometimes improve the performance of a query like this over a join version of the query. Um, but also exists can sometimes be used to more clearly phrase something. So um, in this example I have an exists statement and I'm trying to just say that this subquery can actually be a very complicated construct um, and that sometimes phrasing it this way as a select and all I really need to have is a category name and I just have a very complicated um, condition for showing the category that this can be a, a, a quite elegant clear way to express things in your SQL. Thanks for watching.